Hello everybody and welcome to part two of my house vlog. If you missed part one, I'll have it linked in the description box below. It's pretty much like the progress so far of our house build. So Clinton and I are building our very first home. It has been a long bloody process, but we're nearly there. So at the end of the last vlog, I put some screen no, I put some text on the screen that said we were told there's a 10 week delay and ugh, it was just, look, being dragged out. But we have finally been told that we have a handover date and it is the 17th of February. So today it is the 30th of January. So we are literally moving in a few weeks. Like I have got shit to do. <laughs> Yesterday, Clinton and I did some furniture shopping and we picked up a dining table, not the chairs, but we found a really nice table. And today I'm going to pick up my sister and we're going to look at a bed. So I found one online at Snooze and I'm pretty sure it's the one I wanna get, but I just don't like buying furniture online. You know what I mean? Like if I can, I need to go and look at it, touch it, feel it, check out the quality, make sure the color is the same as what it looks like online. But anyway. So I'm with Marley. <laughs> and when Pillow Talk, I looked at a bed and I do like it, but it's not available. Like if we order it, we won't get it till May. No, April. So I don't know, I'll talk to Clinton when I get home. But we thought we'd just pop into Pillow Talk. Look at this wall of cushions. Wow. It's really... <laughs> really doing something for me. So I've just popped by the house with Marley and one of the doors was actually unlocked, which is a bit sus, but we can get in. Our driveway is down. Our fence on this side is half up, which is exciting. Wasn't expecting that. The laundry, we've got our splashback. I don't know if I've shown this, but sinks are all in. We've got toilets, the baths in. The sinks, shower screen, carpet. We've got our undermount sink. Dishwashers in. Thirsty? Oh my god, get it out. And if that just happened. <laughs> oh. No. Kanika! <laughs> Hello, we have broken into the house again because they keep leaving it unlocked. But it is the 8th of Feb. Handover is next week. There's still a little bit to do, but let me give you a tour. Okay, so kitchen update. They've put some tiles here, like a splashback. We originally weren't going to have tiles there because, well, I thought the window was going to be like all the way across, but anyway. They had spare tiles, so they've done that, and we love how that has turned out. They've done all the shelving. So this is the pantry. I'm thinking on this side, like appliances. So we got um, a PowerPoint put here so we can put like the microwave. And I think I'll put like, use this side as storage. And then this side is for food. Um, they've put the air cons in. They've clearly made a mistake. Um, where it was meant to go, so we're gonna have to repaint that. <laughs> They've done our walk-in robe. So we've got long hanging here, and then some double hanging. This is going to be Clinton's side, and then I'm having <laughs> that. Bathroom, they've put the mirrors up, and then all the shelving in the spare bedrooms is done as well. We've got hanging and shelving storage. We did just realize though, like this is the laundry, and we're going to put a dryer up here, but we haven't put a PowerPoint. So it's gonna to have to be an after job. All right, tomorrow is officially handover day. We are getting the keys. Oh my God, I feel like I have just been so frazzled this week. I'm literally living in a pigsty. I've got a mattress on the ground and camping chairs for a lounge. As you can see, the TV, I don't have a unit for it, got rid of that. I've got boxes everywhere and it stresses me out. I like things neat and tidy and in order. So this living situation has been a little <laughs> uncomfortable for me. 
but it's all good. I've got a ton of stuff to get done today. Got to finish packing up the kitchen. Um, I actually just called to organize like the NBN connection. I've ordered some wheelie bins, which by the way, I call them whiz bins. And Clinton thinks that's so ridiculous, but I've just always called them a whiz bin, not a wheelie bin. You know, like your big garbage bins. Anyway, I'm waiting for a call from the bank to organize house insurance. Um, and then we're meeting the builder out there today to do an inspection and just go over everything before tomorrow. Oh my God, I can't believe this is actually happening. Like what the hell? We bought this land back in 2020. It has been a very stressful process. Like even the last couple of days, like trying to get in touch with the builder and just organize things. Like, oh my God, I just cannot wait till this is done. Cannot wait, but we're nearly there. We've got the keys. <sighs> Look, we've got a nice big bow on the door. Already popped some champagne. <laughs> so we're not actually going to stay here tonight. We are going to maybe move a few things over. Um, and then the family is helping us move on Saturday. It's moving day. <laughs> oh my God. So it's around eight o'clock, probably quarter past. I've got my car full. Clinton was able to get a like little truck from work. So we've jam packed that. My brother's here with us and we're doing our first trip over to the house. <laughs> they know to be careful with the Ikea Alex drawers. Precious cargo. Yeah. Great work, oh. boys. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna need the lift for this. All right, we've got some things in the house. Pretty much everything has been moved over. This is our dining table. Oh my God, love it. Got this nice raw edge. It's big enough for eight seats. So that should seat my family nicely. We kind of started the kitchen, but it's just a lot. So I stopped to have a shower. Boxes just everywhere. But we're getting it done. Good morning. We spent our first night in the house last night. Very exciting. And we're up early today getting some organizing done. I'm trying to focus on the kitchen. We actually got a bit done. I'm working on the pantry right now. So let me show you. All right, so this is the pantry situation. We've got some shelving on this side. And then this side is where I'm going to put the food. So I already had all these containers and these are all just from Kmart and so are the labels. So I'm working on that. And then literally all of my, all the containers are from Kmart. I got a little spinny one in the corner here with spreads. I'm not 100% set on this layout. I'm just trying to get everything in here for the, for the moment. But yeah, I've got like some nice big tubs. These ones with handles done a lot in the drawers. My water bottle collection. <laughs> This cupboard satisfies me here, but I don't think I can use all this room for the wine glasses because I just don't have enough room for like my little coffee station. This is like, we've used two mugs out here this morning and it's just too full. And I wanna put like all this extra tea and coffee in a cupboard, you know what I mean? And like all these drawers are full. This is my Tupperware drawer, it's not satisfying. That's the Tupperware. And then this is like the Povo containers. <laughs> I actually got a bit of help with the wardrobe yesterday and my sister and her girlfriend hung up everything for me. But like, I still want to go get some containers that'll fit these shelves nicely. I need to sort out something for the shoes and like it needs some organization, but it's satisfying that everything's hanging up. Oh, also I'm really excited that the bathroom drawers, I can stand up all my products. Oh my God, yes. Hello, so it's been a few days. This is probably echoing real bad, <laughs> but we have cleared the space. Oh my God, let me give you a little tour. So as you can see, we've got our dining table. <laughs> That's it, no chairs yet. Haven't started looking, but the table looks good. Kitchen wise, oh my God, everything is so neat and tidy. I'm definitely not set on like all these little decor pieces, but that's what's there for now. And then I got a desk for this corner here. 
obviously it's a mess right now, but I just want to have a space to, you know, put all like the day-to-day -day organization crap. So that is where it's going to be. Now this space here next to the kitchen is quite big and empty. So I'm not sure. I'm thinking of putting like some photos on the wall here, like some wedding photos, or I'm not sure if we should do like a buffet, but I don't want like too much. You know, I don't want it to look cluttered. Now don't be fooled. I have just moved most of the stuff <laughs> into here. This is just all kind of like decorating pieces that I can still use. So that's just shut off in there for the time being. I worked on the linen cupboard. So I've got some beautifully folded towels. I want to get some boxes for up the top here. So like this one here from Kmart has got a sheet set in it. So I want to do the same just to keep all that crap tidy. I haven't even started on the makeup room yet, but I will get there. I checked on the time frame for our bed. That's coming about mid-April. And I think the lounge might be a little bit after that. I think May. So it's a work in progress. That's fine. It does feel good though to finally have things like put away. Most of everything is in a place, which is really nice. I'm just waiting now for a new washing machine to be delivered because we did get one, but it was too big and Harvey Norman are being very kind and swapping it for us. Before I go, I do just want to show you a gift that one of my girlfriends got me. She got this made up for us for our housewarming present. Isn't it beautiful? One of our wedding pictures. I love it. All right, well, that is all for my house vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Let me know in the comments below what else you want to see house related. I'm definitely thinking of doing a whole beauty room video, setting all that up. And once I get some more furniture, so probably in the next couple of months, I can definitely do an updated house tour in another vlog. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. I'll chat to you in the comments and see you all in my next video. Bye.